Hello and in this Eclipse quick tip I'm going to show you how to use some of the menu items on the source menu here we have to uh, quickly generate code and um, I'm going to look at a, an example from my uh, little Java TDD course I have this exercise for people to do which is to generate a, a, a value object and in particular a, a complex number um, which is uh, your Mac member from your from your school days so um, basically we need to have a a real part and a an imaginary part, uh, two uh, two values. We'll go with integers, and um, and sort of implement all this stuff here. Let's sort of show you how this looks. It's really very easy. Um, so we've got a little project. We're going to create ourselves a class called complex number, and then we want to have int the real part and int the imaginary part. Now it's time to hit the source menu and we can go source generate constructor using fields and we want both fields and that's going to give us that stuff there and uh, then we can also uh, oops, generate some getters and not setters because this is a value type so we only really want the getters immutable is what value type should be and actually what we ought to probably also do is say that's final and we'll say that's final say that that's final as well and then we can hit the uh, source menu again and generate the hash code and equals and uh, that applies to both and then finally it would be kind of nice to have a little two string here so let's go with the the one that's generated for us and then we might perhaps sort of I don't know, tidy this up a bit because I think probably we'd say it's real plus um, I imaginary and that is our value type, apart from a typo. Where's my error? Where's my error? <sighs> little quote there. Okay, good. So there we are. Um, that didn't take too long, did it? And that's uh, how to use the source menu. Thanks a lot. Bye now.